So, I guess we're gonna continue on. I don't even know if we're in the right area. It's starting to get kind of confusing with all these different ways to go. It looks like I'm behind a desk. Yeah, I am, and I don't think there's any other way to go here. What the fuck? There's a zombie in here. This zombie in here, but he's not going to be able to get over this counter, I don't think. There's a file over here. Fire system notes. Total chaos. The hospital's become a deadly labyrinth. One wrong turn, you find yourself on the receiving end of a dozen monsters. And now we're bad enough, the government soldiers saying to control the situation are even more unpleasant. They don't seem to give a damn about the safety of anyone in here. I understand they must act quickly in order to contain this outbreak, but we've already moved the infected cadavers to the most isolated part of the building, which should be enough to hinder further infections. But no, the orders are to burn everything. So in the middle of prepping a bunch of corpses for disposal, the, the creatures broke loose, and one spark was enough to ignite hell on Earth. Coming matters worse, the sprinkler system in the east wing of the hospital has... Oh, this continues. Malfunction, so most of that area is inaccessible. It would be impossible to extinguish those flames with an ordinary fire extinguisher. We need to recruit a volunteer to go down to the basement and restore water pressure to fix the system. The only problem is finding someone brave enough, especially considering the whole level is goddamn death trap. So they put all the bodies in the basement. Stay the fuck down. They put all the bodies in the basement. But then, for some reason, the people who invaded were like, or invaded, you know, the, the, the troops were like, oh, we're gonna burn everything. And when they went down there, they let them all out by accident. How nice. Let me see type cheered. So I got it. The hundredth vestry, you're going to a shooting range and smoking pot. Like Hick, Hickok 45. <laughs> okay then. Yes, I'm gonna invite John Goodman to come with me. Exit sauces, can we do a tier 3 tip goal? Well, I don't know what on earth it would be. Check this way out first. That guy's very dead. Oh, operating room. zombie in there. It's one of the faster ones, I think. Is it dead? It's about to be now. Is it dead now? Yeah, there's blood coming out of it. Damn. Damn. That thing was sitting up and take three more shotgun shells to the face. <clears throat> okay. Last Rambo cheer, he said, what's the difference between directly subscribing to the channel and subscribing via Prime? The only difference is, I guess, how it's paid for because they, they give you the same feature. From what I don't understand, the only difference is you will not be able to, to, to skip ads. Like when I take an ad break and I run an advertisement, the Prime subscription, you still have to watch the ad, but the regular sub, you, you'll skip it. Outside of that, I think they're identical. I get the same benefits out of it, so. Try out for life, Jerry. He said, hey, DSP, no lie with the vest and yellow glasses. You look like a dad trying to be young and hip and cool with the kids. Really? I was going to say, I do. I look like a hunter or someone on a firing range. I don't know how I'm trying to look hip and cool with the kids. <clears throat> what the fuck happened over here? Epiphedrin. Jesus, look at the blood. Glistening. The glistening blood. Epiphedrin. Can we combine some of this shit finally? Yes. Combine it with the additive. That made stamina fluid. Okay. ammo over here. Yep. 
And that's all that's in here, I guess. We need to kill a tough motherfucker in order to do it. Let's just make sure I can't combine anything else, but I think I'm, uh... Yeah, I'm fully loaded. I got a ton of ammo. The game gave me, like, so much ammo. It's ridiculous. If so, this is, will I treat the vesicle differently when I do a marathon or something? Well, if you guys remember, we didn't. Like, I did. Well, actually, let me think about this. I haven't done a marathon since then, now that I'm thinking about it. Oh, oh fuck. That was meant to be a jump scare. I need a key to open this. I don't know. We'll have to think about it. You know, I have to think about if, if we do a marathon, will we do the tip skull differently or would it just be we'll go for all day? I don't know. <clears throat> so we're on the other side of that countertop now. The bathroom's closed. Permanently. If we can find a way to turn on the, the fire extinguisher system, maybe we can put out that fire and go there eventually. They have emergency gates blocking the entrance here. More damned ammo. I got so much ammo, it's ridiculous. What is this? Another clip? No, an energy bar. At this point, I might just eat one of the energy bars, even though I don't need it. My inventory is like full now. I'm gonna eat one. I ate the energy bar to get full health. <clears throat> okay. So that's this whole area. It's pretty much a dead end until I can find a key to move that elevator right there. Alright, we head back. We're gonna go back to the other way now, which is here, the maternity ward. This is where the door is, or the room is he wants me to go in. He said room 10, I believe. Switch goons, is he still suffering? I'm not sure what you mean by that, switch goon. Hope you're alright. What is that? Mental drops. So now I've got a mental fluid, enhanced powers of perception, probably gonna help with hacking. Stamina. <clears throat> this gives you a medium amount of stamina rejuvenation and two healing items. Here are insane amount of items. <clears throat> Excuse me. Whoa! Well, his hallucinations have come back. That's for sure. <laughs> you know, it's like bad enough that this whole town is infected with zombies. Now he also has to have hallucinations on top of that. It's like shit on shit. Damn. That guy was pretty quiet. But I was ready. <laughs> okay. <clears throat> All right. What do we got in here? Close up. <clears throat> okay, there's a scaffolding to my right. I guess it's a room that's being renovated. What's this? Room 03. We need to get to room 10, but I guess we'll go to room 03 first. Space probe finds dinosaurs on Mars. Oh my god, it's Bat Baby! You've got to be shitting me. 
So this is the sun. This is a tabloid in the UK that says the most ridiculous things. They've got fucking Bat Baby. Dude, I remember Bat Baby from the 1990s. Bat Baby. A hybrid of a bat and a baby. And yes, they put that picture in a fucking tabloid. And people bought it. They believe that shit. <clears throat> Hi, how you doing? Heads up. Damn, Blue's head right the fuck off. Weekly World, yeah, it was the Weekly World News. That's right. Weekly World News would, would run that stupid shit. Bat baby. Well, he doesn't have to worry about that shit no more. The hybrid of a bat and a baby. Out. Got a little atrium here. I wonder if we'll be able to go out there. Check your corners. There's bat baby in here too. Every room has a bat baby. This room is clear. Playing cards. Someone was playing cards in here. What? How someone have three aces? Get the fuck out of here. The rarest possible thing. Oh, there's some food. Grab some food, dude. <clears throat> what does that say? Fantastic. It's supposed to be like a comic book cover or something. Fantastic. Turn on the how do I like the game? I, I don't dislike it. It's definitely got a creepy vibe. Seems like it's a little bit too easy with the insane amount of ammo I'm finding now. Earlier on, it was a little bit more tense. Now I'm just constantly finding ammo, so it's kind of ridiculous. But I actually think I, I kind of like it. As weird as it is, I think I kind of like this game. The door is blocked by a bunch of bricks. So I can't go out to the atrium. Oh. One of the shootable things is out there. One of the collectibles. I guess we'll go out there first. So we're going to be choosing. There's a Polish metal drummer who's called Darkside. Is he a detractor using your name? Yes. A very solid chain is locking the door. I need some kind of tool to open it. Great. <clears throat> Alright, we'll go this way first. I got a tool right here. Watch this. Right in the balls. I think I blew his leg off. What the fuck's making noise? Is he dead? I guess he's dead. This is it's room 10. That's where we need to go for the story. So I should check out the rest of the hallway first. Room Stay sitting down. That's okay. Wow. Well, I see one of those mental things. Oh, what's this? Dr. Jennings' log. I knew it. I just freaking knew something like this would happen sooner or later. We've been playing God. But now we cannot escape the herbis of our astounding progress. Herbert, herbis, the company, what? The government, 
decades of malevolent work. And my God, I helped them. You did? And now, it's time to pay for our sins. Christ, what have we unleashed? Wow. He helped the government, huh? How? See, this is one of those additives, but I have nothing to combine it with. And I have no inventory space for it either, I don't think. So I might as well not even pick it up. Whoa, magnum ammo. I don't have a magnum. I guess that means I'm going to find one somewhere. Yeah, I'm not voice acting. I agree. You can tell that guy's a you know seasoned pro. Knows what he's doing. <clears throat> yeah, he was trying to say hubris, and he didn't he didn't even get close. <laughs> Alright. So room 10's over here. I've heard both hubris and hubris. I've never heard hubris or whatever the hell he said. No, Cookie Monster, I did miss an item. It was the ad it was one of the things you combine for a healing item. I don't have inventory space for it. <clears throat> Sam here. Can you hear me, Doc? I'm in room 10. Mr. Walker, what a pleasure to hear from you. Glad to know that you're still a fine specimen of good health. I can't imagine what you went through was easy. But the next step should be much easier. What am I supposed to do exactly? I don't see anything. Not to worry, Mr. Walker. You're in the right place. Although you can't see it, there's a special door in that room. Oh. Now approach the wall directly across from you with your DID. Hexacore secret rooms. These rooms can be found all over Keen Sight. They're used by Hexacore operatives to supervise the city from the shadows. <clears throat> to unlock them, uh, the DID is necessary. The device will faintly beep when a player gets close to a secret door. It's recommended you seek out the locations of all special rooms. Interesting. else has to happen? Hidden doors? Implants with damn chips? Mr. Walker, I want you to listen very carefully. There are many forces at play which, unlike myself, you just aren't privy to. All you must do is do exactly as you're told, no matter how unsettling nor utterly unpleasant it may seem. Now hurry up and bring me that chip. Over and out. So my inventory is completely full. I might just get rid of the energy bar. I used it. I think this is another clip. Yeah, it's another magazine. So now I can load both magazines with ammo here. <clears throat> Jesus, I have so much ammo, it's insane. <laughs> I have four healing items. Failed. VJ02 will likely be the last 
active subject of phase one, a dinosaur, shall we say, conceived in the early 40s. <clears throat> Excuse me. Around the same time as the Defense Department and CIA welcomed Hexacore Biogenetics into keen sight, phase one was truly the first BC weapons test the government conducted on its own soldiers and arguably the father of the MK Naomi program. The subject VJ02 called Roland Reds was once a young army officer who accompanied several top secret missions and later got recruited for World War II campaigns so daring and highly classified. His details are unclear to us even today. <clears throat> As yet, VJ02 is likely the only surviving test subject that has undergone such a plethora of experimentation and even we've lost track of what was done specifically by whom involving which doses. <clears throat> we could blame it on the rushed and disorganized experiments performed by researchers who have come and gone over the years that resulted in the current state of this particularly stubborn yet pitiful creature. Given the unlikelihood of gleaning new data from its semi-vegetative coma, we have deemed further research on this dinosaur to be a futile endeavor. Orders activate purification protocols for subject VJ02. The subject for some years has been discharged from the hospital and resides in the home, at home in the outskirts to avoid potential conflicts with the remaining subjects currently being tested on the premises. You will immediately notify the Hexacore operative in the noted quadrant so we may prepare the subject for immediate disposal within the 48 hours. There are no further details. Senior Supervisor of Hexacore Biogenetics. <clears throat> okay, then. Roy from IT to me $1.30. Did you see a ludicrous display last night? Uh, no. Roy from IT, I have no idea what you're talking about. At all. But thank you for the tip. <clears throat> okay. <clears throat> so... They've been doing biogenetic experiments in this town for years. It wasn't just unlucky that this stuff would, would uh, happen to them. Roy from IT says, the thing about arsenals, they always try to walk it in. I guess he's talking about, um, talking about, whatchamacallit, uh, uh, you know, American, well, soccer or football. We call it soccer in America. Booked menu says I could combine the needles. Oh, really? Well, there you go. That made me some inventory space. Cool. Thank you for that hint, bugged menus. Dark Side Chris asked, do these, these classes make any positive difference in gaming? And my answer is, I don't know. Um, I don't know. Like, I've only worn them not very often. I would say if I actually wore them at more extended periods, maybe I would know. For now, I would say, I mean, they're not bad. They don't really hurt my eyes or anything, but I don't know if they're actually making me do any better either. Alright. Access the hive and exchange the ID tag. This is the storage system used to safely deposit all additional resources an operative can't carry with them on a mission. You can retrieve them from any terminal in the city thanks to the underground connection between Hexacore facilities. The trade system is used to ensure Hexacore personnel are always equipped with proper resources. From this tab, it's possible to exchange one for another. From this tab, it's possible to return Hexacore ID tags that were implanted under the skin of Hexacore operatives. By doing so, it's possible to unlock additional information on the agents and sometimes get a reward. Using the save tab, you can save the progress of your mission. Okay. So... I'll store that, and I'll store that, I guess, I guess that's good, trade, I don't understand why the hell we gotta keep these goddamn rags on, I get the company wants to keep the workplace safe, but I've been parading around in this ridiculous outfit for five fucking years while my colleagues glow with their crisp white coats and stethoscopes. <clears throat> the smell from the cleaning supplies is damn sickening. Now that I think about it, maybe I shouldn't complain. The shit we lace the patient's food with, as well as the town's water supply, is certainly worse than any brand detergent. A lot of them are already suffering from the side effects, so much so, in fact, that a few premature deaths have been reported. On second thought, having to, to lie to friends and family about their loved ones being victims of a so-called phantom disease is a heavy burden... I'd rather leave to the pretty boys in white, especially when you're dealing with families who become fed up with the same bullshit diagnosis and seek out a second opinion. In which case, the situation becomes especially complicated when the company is forced to intervene. On that note, getting a fat pay... A fat pay... Doesn't even sound right. Just to feed the animals 
The poison they cook up in the lab is something I can definitely live live it. I can definitely live it. They did not proofread this. At least for a few more years, the things will change, and I'm rewarded for all my efforts. I'm sure of it. <clears throat> now I save the game here. Some manual saves can be made here. All right. So once we find these terminals, we can save. We can do inventory, uh, trading, and everything. Basically, Resident Evil is kind of like a safe room. So that's what these are. They're safe room. Wait, I can't get out. What the fuck? I can't get out. What is going on? Uh. Oh, I need to take a chain. going on in this place secret control rooms continuous monitoring of the citizens of keen sight how is it possible i don't know sam you better figure out how to get the fuck out of here because i don't know how look how do i open this door how do i get out uh i don't know what to do i'm locked in here What the fuck? <clears throat> what am I supposed to do? <clears throat> Open the goddamn door! <clears throat> what do I do? I have no idea. These are items that you can take out of storage if you want. This is the log. I already did this. And I already saved. What am I supposed to do? I am completely stumped. Guys, anyone played this or know what the fuck to do in here? I can't leave the room. Well, I saved the game, right? So maybe the game is screwed up. Maybe I should close the game and then reopen it and see what happens. Maybe the door is supposed to open, but it glitched. Let's find out. I don't know. That's weird. <clears throat> uh, no lizard said, well, lock yourself in that office, set up a nice bed, barricade the door, and just ignore all those zombies. Fuck them. <laughs> wow. Oh, man. <clears throat> oh, I don't know what happened. <clears throat> Hopefully, uh, this isn't a game-breaking bug. Sorrento, he's cheers. Do you think the Dead Rising series is done and forgotten? Honestly, probably. I'm pretty sure that last one they did that was a, a, a last-minute release at Christmas one year. It didn't do well. <clears throat> so I think they're pretty much done. I think the series, they ran into the ground, basically. They changed it too much. You know? It was one thing, but it went... What the fuck? Why am I here? 
Why am I here? I saved the game. You gotta be kidding me. The auto save was way back there. I gotta go to here. Here's the manual save. When you hit continue, it doesn't load the manual save. It loads the auto save. Yeah, I'm gonna really reload 30 minutes of fucking gameplay or redo it. Yeah, right. <clears throat> Ninstar Moon 2, so maybe it's like the X-Men game on Genesis with the weird puzzle where you have to hit reset on your console. Yeah, it's Mojo's World. You're in Mojo's World. The only way to beat it is to reset the, the actual game. Uh, guess what? <laughs> uh, I don't know what to do, guys. What do you do? It's like, I see it, but I can't use it. <clears throat> and the door won't open. Yes, Blank Mage C-Top, I got the chip out of the dead guy's arm, and I traded it in here at the terminal. And then it said, go back to the doctor, and I can't do, nothing opens. Everything is locked. <clears throat> Did the game really fuck up? Seriously. There's nothing else in here to interact with. There's nothing I can do here. But I already did this. What the hell is going on in this place? I already Secret did that. Rooms, continuous monitoring of the citizens of Keen Sight? How is it possible? It still doesn't do anything, see? I did it, it doesn't trigger anything. I'm still stuck. Can't do anything. I might have to look. I look something up on the internet or something. This doesn't. I don't know what to do. It doesn't fucking work. The game doesn't work. What the fuck? No, shooting the door handle isn't going to do anything. Well, what can I do? I gotta look this up, right? I'm not watching YouTube video walkthroughs. I'm looking for someone actually listing what to do.
Oh my god, this sucks. It's all fucking YouTube videos. I don't want YouTube videos. Apparently, literally, it's just YouTube videos. There's nothing else. Here's one. No commentary. <laughs> wow. Uh, oh. Dude, it's all no commentary. What's up with that? All these videos are no commentary. Dude, it's also insanely dark. I can't even see the videos because they're so dark. I can't even see what's going on in the videos. They're all so fucking dark. <clears throat> this sucks. That's too far. I didn't even get here. This is a puzzle I didn't even get to yet. A log from Dr. Atherton? I don't think I found that either. Oh my god. This is why video walkthroughs suck, because you gotta skim and you can't find the part you're looking for. <clears throat> this sucks. Alright, this is near where I am. Yeah. He just went in the doctor's office door. He's going downstairs. I know it's not entertaining. What do you guys want me to fucking do? No one's played this game, so no one knows anything. There's no facts on the internet to look anything up. <laughs> I have to watch someone playing the game in a video. <clears throat> this guy found a lock. I didn't even find this. Where the fuck was this lock? found a locked cabinet that I didn't even find. That cabinet was open for me. He found, he's in a room where a cabinet was open for me and for him it was locked. Alright, here we go. He's, in the, he's going into this room right now. I'm watching it right now. <clears throat> so I'm going to wait. He's going to enter it. In the meantime... I think the game is just fucked. I think the console version is a piece of donkey shit. And you can't... It does, just doesn't work. She's going in the room right now. The room is just as dark for him, which is hilarious. It's like so dark in this game, you can't see shit. <clears throat> it 
This guy also has way too much inventory. His inventory is completely overflowing. He ended up combining stuff just like me to make inventory space. For him, the door opened again. Are you serious? Hold on. The door opened again for him. It didn't glitch. Stupid music. Yeah, so he walks back to the entrance. Yeah, and the door opens. He walks back to the entrance and the door just opens itself. So if this door doesn't open, the game is completely glitched. And I can't continue. You gotta be kidding me. And the game only loads auto saves, not the manual saves. It's a piece of shit. Yeah, he walks up to the door and he stands there for about three seconds and the door opens. So let's see what happens here. Load. What the fuck? Look. It won't load. It won't even load the last save. Oh my god. Dude, this game is a piece of shit. Can you imagine if you paid for this? Thank God I didn't fucking pay for this. What the hell is going on in this place? Secret control rooms? Continuous monitoring of the citizens of Keen Sight? How is it possible? Does it open? For him, he just walked up here and stood here, and then the door opened. Wow. What a bunch of fucking idiots. They introduce you to a safe room mechanic and the safe room doesn't work. It locks you in infinitely and that's the end of the game. You gotta be joking me. You've got to be joking me. Oh my god. <clears throat> well, someone took me $4 and insulted me stupidly. And I'm as Dollar Tipper says, How you been today? It's a really bad day myself. I got into a fight with one of my neighbors. <clears throat> I'm sorry to hear that. Thank you for the dollar tip. Tire broke to the dollar store. Recipes, Damier, the game was, was shit anyways. Next. And Damier developers sent me a dollar thirty and says, How do you like our game now, old man? Well, there you go. Sadly, I was liking it up to that point. I was really liking the game. But how can anyone, how could they sell this? <clears throat> <clears throat> Oh my god, it deleted my save. Remember there was a third save. It deleted it. 
What? It deleted it. Oh my god. <clears throat> wow. This is interesting, to say the least. <laughs> Alright, what if I don't give in the ID tag? The door still doesn't open. So what this is telling me is, when you give the ID tag in, it's supposed to trigger that the door will open. But the game's glitched and it doesn't. <clears throat> uh, Sermon of Eve, I've already played Silent Hill, I believe, twice. I'm not playing it again. <clears throat> okay. What the hell is going on in this place? Secret control rooms? Continuous monitoring of the citizens of Keen Sight? How is it possible? I work! It worked! Well, at least we keep playing. I, dude, that was like 20 minutes wasted. Are you kidding me? It worked. <laughs> oh my god, what a game. What the fuck? I hope the next time I go into one of these rooms that it doesn't happen. Oh my god. Well, VG stuffed, Cheer. He said the developers actually explain you're locked in the safe room until you come up with an ending for the game. All right, I guess we're good. What the fuck was that? That was absolutely ridiculous. All right. So, what were we what do we go there for? The microchip, right? That was it. <clears throat> that was it. So, we didn't find a way to open this door over here to get into the atrium. Right? Oh, fuck. You fucking son of a bitch. Is he dead? No. Holy shit, those things take a lot of fucking shells to kill. He scared me. He came out of nowhere. Alright, he's dead now. He's also very quiet. Made zero noise. <clears throat> so I need some kind of special tool, and I don't have a special tool to open that door. I've investigated everywhere else, right? <clears throat> Yeah, see? It shows the garden. I can't get in. I've gone everywhere else so far. That I could anyway. There's other doors over here that appear to be locked as well. You see, it's one of the collectibles is out there to shoot. But I can't seem to get into there. This is all blocked. You can't move that. And no other way in. Nope. Alright, well I guess I can't do it now. Maybe you come back later once you get this tool. Well, I don't have it yet. <clears throat> Look what I found. What's this? An energy drink. All right, I made another syringe. Okay. Oh my god. Save disappearing for no reason. A door that refuses to open until I like reload the game three times. This game is uh, questionable at best. All right, yep. I right, see it. the map. According to the map, I've checked all the other rooms. So I got to go back at least maybe either where I came from or... One of the rooms I couldn't open previously. <clears throat> okay.
They might respawn new enemies now. Oh shit! Not real! Oh god, an enemy that wasn't real. So you're gonna be wasting ammo on fake on fake enemies. Huh. All right, so according to this, there was a door previously I did not open. See that? Through a couple of these doors. This is all dead end, so I can't go through here, right? Oh, that was the quarantine door I couldn't open. Yeah. All right. Hmm. Now... There's another door that I couldn't open up here. That's right, it was the door that said it was locked. It was the storage room, remember? Okay. Oh, satisfactory work, Mr. Walker. Well played. I wasn't quite sure you'd make it. Yeah, thanks for the vote of confidence. So now let me in. Parading around your hospital, risking my damn life, chopping corpses for you. I see. But didn't you say you came here to collect something from my latest patient? Now that doesn't leave you much of a choice, does it? So let's cut the chatter and get back to the task at hand. First you do something for me, then I do something for you. Doc, I hope for your sake that son of a bitch is really in there. He's full of shit. Because if he ain't... And you're riding me like a donkey. I'm gonna tear you a new one. As tempting as that sounds, I'm afraid you'll just have to trust me, Mr. Walker. Let me assure you, however, that I am a man of my word. <laughs> so what in the fuck should I do this time? I want you to take this key. Aha. Uh -huh. You can use it to access the lower levels of the building. That elevator that wouldn't open. find a door that looks surprisingly similar to the one your device unlocked. By now, you should have a clear idea how it works. Once inside, I'll explain the rest by radio. Have a nice walk, Mr. Walker. <laughs> All right. Sabotage Hexacore's underground archive. That's the key to open the elevator. Got it. All right, well, we've already gone this way and got to the elevator already. I don't know if any more enemies are going to spawn. There's the elevator straight ahead. That's the fire we can't put out right now. Okay, going down. At least we got out of that fucking room. I was disappointed because, like I said, I like the cheesy B-movie feel to the game. The fact that it's not a polished game actually has, like, a charm to it. And I was disappointed that it looked like the game was going to be completely fucked, so... Parking lot. So you're saying there's going to be a hidden room down here in this parking lot. Another blood trail. Oh man, multiple dudes. I think that one's still alive, yup. Those seem tougher. The ones in the lab coats seem to have more health. over here there's a door here 
What does that say? It says store it. No, the morgue. Uh, <laughs> I don't know if I should be going in there. Let's clear this room first. Let's check the whole garage before we head into the morgue. Fuck. An anonymous tipper, too many dollars, says, you still have your Wii U because it'll be cool to see you play Sonic the Lost World. I do have my Wii U. Um, I saved it because, not to say to play more Wii U games, but because I figured that's the best way to play games on the on the Nintendo Virtual Console. You know, it has virtual a virtual Wii, but also you can play other old games on it. Old Nintendo games. So I saved it purposely for those reasons. And over the years, I usually go back to it every once in a while. Like, for example, I played the whole Donkey Kong Country series and Super Mario RPG on it recently. So that's why I hold on to it. Um, inventory is full. Take a look here. Oh my god. I got so much shit, dude. There's so much. I have Magnum ammo here. This is ludicrous, the amount of ammo I have. It really is. All right, here's what I'm gonna do. Now I got a little bit of inventory space. Ever so small, right? Um. But let's see here. Do I want this item? I don't even know what it is. Epinephedrin or whatever. So it's a healing item, but I don't think I can combine this with anything right now. No. More than likely I'll have to drop something in order to use that. Well, I have it at least, but I don't know if I'm going to keep it. Archangel subscribed for 26 months. As I see now, the pop in is because the guy hasn't taken his medicine. Oh, of course. That's it. It's hallucinations. Everything really is fully visible, but the pop-in is because the guy is hallucinating, of course. <laughs> of course, it's big excuses for the game. <clears throat> okay, I'm going to start using bullets for a bit. Anything over here? It doesn't really look like it's a locker, but you can't open this locker. Car rack, you can't use it. Some turpentine. A hacking cable I can't pick up because my inventory is full. Alright, you know what? I have so many of those that I don't even care. I have so many healing items I don't care about it, so. Alright. So I think we're supposed to go into the morgue. Everything else looks like it's closed off. Alright. A creepy hallway. How nice. Take our time here. Oh boy. More hallucinations. I think it's best to just freeze in place when you see them. Freeze in place and enjoy them. Maybe he'll like he'll envision dinosaurs and fucking aliens and shit. Oh, oh, oh shit. There's a zombie in there. There's a blood pool, he's dead. I missed a hundred times. I wasted so much ammo right there. He's dead now. Look at that animation. He's definitely dead now. It's so hard to aim with this fucking gun because of the fucking delay in the game. The mass delay of controls, the choppy frame rate, 
He makes it super difficult to control. Oh, we got a combination? Wasn't it 667? Yup, that was the one we found in the doctor's office. What is that? I don't know, but I want it. It's blue. What can I drop? Oh, shit. <laughs> what do I drop? I used the health fluid I didn't need. Is it seriously another health fluid? It's a mental fluid. So I wasted it. I did. I wasted a health fluid to get a mental fluid I don't need. Oh my god, this game, dude. Oh my god. Audio tape. Cooper's audio log. Let's listen to it. Here it is. I had it with this damn job. It's been five fucking years since I started keeping tabs on that Ronald. It's driving me crazy. How can you hope to get useful data from a brain dead invalid stuck in an unrelenting coma? I'm beginning to think that maybe I should be the one to nudge him into terminal dreamland. Well, if that's the only way to convince upper management to assign me a new task, then so be it. At this point, I'd be better off a vegetable myself without the slightest sensations of being stuck in this goddamn job. Hello, Yellow Flash, too. Well. Oh, shit. A valve is missing. So we find a valve, we should be able to replace this and use this. Remember they said this is the water control? You could turn on the water, this will probably put out the fire upstairs and you can go further into the hospital eventually. But I can't do it yet. There's nothing else in here. Remember, I'm gonna keep my eyes open for a tool to open up that lock upstairs, but we haven't found it yet. All right, well, good stuff. Good place to take a, a break.